We all know and love video games, either you're a hardcore gamer or just a video games enjoyer. It doesn't matter, because those all share a common niche, loving video games. And I've got amazing news for you today. I have a collection of games in front of me, and they're not just very good, or so I've heard, they're actually 100% free. You do not have to spend a penny to enjoy these awesome experiences. There's a lot of amazing free games available on Steam. For example, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Destiny, Dota, Apex Legends, which I've already made a video about, and I highly recommend you go watch that. There's a lot of games right in front of you when you open up Steam, but in today's video, I'm going to go over and show the less popular games, those whom have amazing hidden content just waiting to be found. The first game we're going to play is called Realm Royale, and this game has gotten very positive reviews recently. Join 20 plus million players and experience a new kind of battle royale in Realm Royale Reforged. Choose your class, forge deadly weapons, and master powerful abilities to be the last champion standing. Mount up alone or with a team to explore a fantasy world while outrunning the deadly fog. Cool! This awesome battle royale game is about eliminating everyone you encounter, but with a lot of twists and an unusual playstyle. 90 different people will drop into the huge map of Realm Royale simultaneously. The last one standing will be announced the winner of the game, which will be my main goal right now. What the fu- Okay, so like every other battle royale game, you get sent to a starting place where you wait for every other player to connect. Okay, we're in. How do I open the map? Oh, like that. So yeah, if you didn't already know, there's like a bunch of classes in this. And I picked the assassin class because it seemed like a good choice. Okay, uh, what the fu- You really just float to the ground. Okay, assault rifle. Holy shit, there's people here. Let's get some action going already. Holy shit, okay. Wait, do I have unlimited ammo? Yeah. Holy shit, I can teleport. Wow, it's an epic. Yeah. Oh, an epic. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Yeah, I've noticed I'm not alone over here. Holy shit, I can jump. Holy shit, barely got out of that. Go, 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 go. Ah. Man, that was really f Okay, there's people here. Keen no scope. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> gotcha. B I guess the storm is here. Holy shit, that was intense. What the fuck is that, a fucking dragon? Yeah, that fight was pretty fun, actually. I really enjoyed that. I mean, this game got a pretty, like, smooth feeling to it. It doesn't have too drastic of graphics. It runs really well. What the fuck is happening? Yes, sir. Ooh, that was close. Okay, this guy had a lot of stuff. What the fuck is that? I cannot equip because we're class only. I mean, by my experience so far, the game feels really good. Hey, ain't that the mushroom from Fortnite? Well, I do have one complaint, though. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. There isn't, like, any traversing mechanic. Like, yeah, you have the ability, I can, like, fast forward and stuff, but there isn't, like, any main transportation. Okay, I am stuck. Oh my god, okay. I was wrong then. I take back my complaints. There actually is a way to traverse easily. Is that something special? I assume it's special. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, damn, that shot was good. 
No scope. Uh, what is... Is this guy serious? I mean, I'll take a free kill, but just why? Ooh, almost. Oh no. It's getting tense. No! Well, that was surprisingly fun, but let's move on to the next game. If you want to try this game out for yourself, there's a link in the description. This next game is... Okay, guess what game this is? Probably not. This game isn't that well known, so it isn't weird. Some say that this game is really underrated. Well, I'm here to judge that statement. This is Paladins. A first-person shooter where two teams compete for the victory. There is a bunch of game modes which includes a different goal for each mode. And the only way to demonstrate that is to actually show you. Select a champion. Okay, I am in-game now. And this is really like Overwatch. I've already done a video about Overwatch. You should go watch it. I mean, it's like this champion hero thing. Ten seconds remaining. Okay, chill. Uh, I'll pick a random one. So yeah, this game is actually similar to Overwatch, I guess. But I'm pretty sure it has some unique things. What am I applying? Sure, I don't really know what this means, but... Oh, I have a box. What the fuck? Uh, how do I get rid of this horse? Oh shit, it's going down. Holy shit. That was a big jump. I got 2000 HP. Holy shit. Double kill. Triple kill. Oh my god. Am I doing well or... I can't really tell. I mean, this is super much like a watch. That guy is like the one guy with the shield. I'm like uh, Moira from Overwatch, actually. Shit. Okay, I did not do good. I mean, I probably look really good at this game, but get what is happening? But this game got some crazy aim assist. I mean, I'm getting kills just, just aimlessly shooting into the crowd. Oh yes, yeah, sir, that is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is not what I'm talking about. Yes, sir, we're so close. Come on, come on, a little further. Come on, dude, just die. Victory. Yes! That is how you do it, baby. Holy shit, that's the sound. Okay, I enjoyed that way too much. But we have to move on. I would definitely say that this game is underrated considering the lack of recognition it has gotten. But yeah, this is definitely a solid game and I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. Link is in the description. This next game takes on a different approach. If you're a fan of fishing or enjoying wildlife, you'll really enjoy this game. This game has captured the essence of fishing perfectly. Welcome to Russian Fishing. A game about getting money, buying better gear and advancing in tiers to compete against others. But, simply explained, fishing. Okay, so I'm currently waiting for a fish to bite. Okay, I'm waiting for the float now. Oh my gosh. A Crucian Carp. Um, 456 grams? God damn! If you know anything about fishing, you know that's really good. Do I have to release it? Really? Man, this is a really nice and detailed fish. Unlike some fish I've seen on the internet. Um, can I move? Yeah, I can move. Let's go find Bigfoot. Okay, another fish is biting. Oh shit, that's pretty fine. Not as good though. I can do better.
Holy shit! We got him. 3.5 kg. That's how you do it. Oh, that was just a tutorial. Okay, now I'm in the open. Let's see, what do we got? We got a big lake and a boat. Hmm, we got some pretty houses. We got something in Russian. I mean, this is Russian fishing, so no wonder it's in Russian. We got this fancy bridge and some more nice houses. Man, this is a nice neighborhood, actually. Oh, I'm wondering, does this game have some deep lore in it? Like something went down in this lake. Like Jason from Friday the 13th murdered someone and then like something happened. That would be really cool. Oh, right, I should be fishing. Oh, something's napping. What the fuck is that? I wanted a fish, not some Chinese sleeper. Well, I guess I'll keep it. Wait, what happens if you go into the water? Oh, you can't. Holy shit, someone just caught a 11,000 kilogram fish. H how is that even possible? Hey, that is not so good. Time for another time lapse, I guess. Hundred and forty three thousand kilograms. What? What the fuck? I mean, yeah, there isn't that much variety in content to show off. But if you really like grinding games and fishing, this is a perfect game for you. The game's link is in the description. But let's move on to the next game, which this next one I'm really excited about. Have you ever wanted to play a multiplayer action game, but every one of them includes the same mechanics and gameplay? Well, this game is different in that way. Welcome to Spellbreak, a game where you get cast into a arena called the Hollow Lands. Your goal is to survive and eliminate others, but unlike most other action games, you use magic and your own imagination to conquer the lands of Spellbreak. And I'm really excited to play this game since it looks really well made and has gotten very positive reviews. Okay, we get sent right in. Oh, this is also a tutorial. Well, hmm. Holy shit. Okay, now I've completed a tutorial and all you did was to learn the basics like shoot, revive your teammates and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go with her. She seems pretty cool. Let's jump in to the battle royale. Alright, so this, this is a bit of a different take on battle royale. So instead of dropping in, you choose where you spawn. And I'm gonna choose over there because I'm smart. Okay, you actually drop in. Okay. Okay, boys, we're in. Okay, how do I play? Yeah, you can do different type of sorcery and stuff. Like, I can fly, I can dodge an open chest so I can get different armor. I can get different, like, spirits. Now I have lightning and fire, which is really neat. And also, I should mention, these graphics are fucking incredible. They have sort of a cartoonish style, but realistic at the same time. Now, what are these crystals for? Okay, not so I can kill myself. And if you take damage, you can always heal. Okay, so I have fire equipped and lightning. Fire and then lightning. Legalize nuclear bombs. Ooh, a guy. Let's damage him. Okay, he knows I'm here. Let's 
Yes, sir! <laughs> oh shit. Okay, heal, heal. Holy shit, that was intense. Let's consume a bit more. Epic flight rune. Uh, what is happening? Oh, that's the zone. Is there fall damage? Okay, let's find some more people. Hello, Mr. Guy. Gotcha. Let me consume this shield real quick. The health potion. Uh, I don't know what all of this is. He didn't have a whole lot. Oh, shit. This is a nice castle, actually. Holy shit, that is not good. That ability is really good. Okay, I feel like this lightning stuff is like my sniper. It's like an actually like hit stuff. Okay, I really need to switch out my lightning. It is not as great as I thought. What did he have? He must have had something great. Ooh, a pair of boots. Scroll of spirit. Okay, that is good. Holy shit, it's going down over here. Another one? I should probably stay up here because it's like safe and all that. Let's let's just move. Okay, Jesus is going down over here. Gotcha. Alright, let's see what we got. Did both of them die? Oh no, here, there he is. What? Already? Holy shit! Six exiles, 674 damage. My first solo victory in Spellbreak. That is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. This game is amazing. This game is really well made, and you can tell that the devs put a lot of work into this. It's relatively balanced and has some unique gameplay. But yeah, overall, this is an awesome game, and I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. The game's link is in the description. This next game has taken the internet by storm over the past week. The prequel to Warzone is officially out on Steam for free. Welcome to Warzone 2.0. I have of course played the original Warzone in the past, but now when version 2.0 is out on Steam, what better time to play it than now? I think I'm going to drop in some quotes, because I heard this game now has proximity chat. Proximity chat is when you can hear another player in your proximity. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Oh yeah, and the game's link is in the description. Oh yeah, and the new map on Warzone is called Al Masra. The previous one was called like, I don't remember, but something. And holy shit, Al Masra is huge. Where are we dropping boys? I mean, it was some time ago I played the original Warzone, so I'm kind of rusty. Holy shit, I know that's good. That's a gas mask, and that is pretty handy when you're outside of the zone. So is Warzone 2.0 just a enhanced version of Warzone, or is there any new content? Hello, broski. Okay, guys, do you have enemies here? Okay, where are they? Mark them. I have no clue what he's talking about. I think the most crucial part about playing Battle Royale games is gearing up. So the first few minutes of a game is mostly about like gathering ammo and stuff. Man, this map is actually very beautiful if you ignore all the wars going on. Hey bro, what are you leaving without me? Thank you, bro. What the? Okay, man, I got a lot of money. No. Oh, I'm being hunted? Enemies, enemies. Ow. Very weird. Oh my god. Oh well. That is what's up. Wait, what? Oh yeah, there's a gulag. Well, let's get him, fat CNT. That's a totally normal name. Yes, sir! That is how you do it. We'll drop here, but I hope there isn't someone already here. We are coming back. The area looks clear. God damn, he looks... God damn, you look sexy with that ghillie suit on. Yes, sir. Give me that sniper. What I remembered from Warzone is if you don't have a sniper rifle or a DMR, you're actually pretty screwed. Being able to snipe people from a distance is actually the best way to get kills. 
Uh, why is there three safe zones? Let's go, boys. Holy shit. Got one. Ooh, baby! Nice. Oh shit, the storm is right here. Oh no! We can all agree that these are some great games. All of the games shown are totally free and available to play. The problem with most games on Steam is their price tag. And that isn't a problem when you can play amazing games such as these for free. As I've said throughout the video, I highly recommend you play these games and enjoy them on your own. I did choose these games for a reason, but enough of that. I hope you enjoyed the video and that I at least inspired you a little. But right now, I'ma go play some spell break. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.